Hey guys, gals, and Legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4 Iron Maiden. And I'm joined here with Riley and Codsworth outside of a little town named Covenant. A little town that's very, very, very well fortified. And I'm interested to see what we got going on inside the town. We passed their test, we proved to them we're not a synth. Now let's see what's going on inside. Now, there you are. I got confused for a second. I saw the other guy inside and I thought that was you. Let's have a walk on inside. We're still in our social gear. Oh, sorry buddy. You've been locked out. We've got little farms. The houses are nice. I mean, all in all, it's a pretty nice looking um, neighborhood. They all seem to be pretty down on synths though. Um, judging from my little test outside, so we'll see how that goes. Ooh, one moment. Meaning no offense, but Caravan I've got a few days back. to do. Or Trollman Stockton. I'm sure. Solemn, right? I already hey, know. Ted. I don't anybody else in town would be happy to talk to you, but this isn't Diamond City. But oh, you see, I gotta run uh, diagnostics on uh, the perimeter turrets. Say. You sure? And uh, Gladys says the uh, light in the bunk house. I know for a fact they came here. Why the brush off? I want to help, mister, but I really don't recollect. Mark my words. I'll get to the bottom of this. Hmm, the bottom of what? Look like a pretty mean dude. <clears throat> you from around here? God, I hope not. I've had enough of these hicks. Honest Dan. Dislike Covenant. Evasive. Just traveling few. So he seems to dislike Covenant. You, uh, you have a problem with the people here? All the fake smiles and the fancy talking puts me on edge. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. You know anything about Stockton's caravan? Stockton's? Hmm. We could play along, but no, we'll try and get information. A caravan? What are you talking about? I signed on with old man Stockton to find his lost caravan. What's left of it is just outside of town. The last stop was here, so I've been trying to put together the story. But I keep getting the runaround. Got a proposal for you. Help me find Stockton's people and we split the reward. At least one survivor walked out of that massacre. Hmm. And I intend to make good on my contract. Okay. Oh, let's see. Let's, let's push, eh? If I help you, I want something up front. If I have your word, you'll help. Nice. I'll chip in 50 caps now. That's above and beyond the deal. Okay. Let's see. Let's talk about survivors. Who are we looking for? The big one is Stockton's daughter, Amelia. I didn't find any bodies of the feminine persuasion. So, uh, there's hope. If we find her, Stockton's offering a heap of caps. Okay. Alright. Uh, well, we've already asked about the caps up front, so... Let's do it. Sounds fair. I'm in. Here's all I got on the caravan. I don't got proof, but Covenant's involved. Somehow. I'll keep poking around, but let me know if you find anything. Hmm. Creepy little town, maybe. Search destroy All caravan. Ask being. Dan about synths. Okay. Well, um, let's have a chat to some of the other people around the town first of all. Hi. Huh? Just a regular settler. Let's see who else we've got. Jacob Orden. <clears throat> well, hello, stranger. The name's Jacob, and I run this town. Glad you passed the test. Our doors always open to good quality people. You can use one of the beds in the guest house. Oh. And you should visit Penny's store. Right. Let's, um... Let's talk about the amenities. Anything else in town? Doc Patricia will be more than happy to patch you up. For a modest fee, of course. You might want to stay clear of Mr. Dan. I've had some complaints about him. Hmm. Covenant investigation. Can I ask you some questions? Ask away. Problem of Sims, Dan says you're lying, missing caravan. I don't want to ask any questions about this yet just because we haven't done any actual investigations, so we'll uh we'll just say goodbye to go. for now. You have a good day. But um we do have an optional part of the quest to talk to Dan about Simps, so we'll see if we can track him down and have a chat to him about that. He might have gone on side. Oh. Hi. She seems a little Talia. Oh, I heard about timid. You. You're the stranger. I make things. Things for the store. Oh, I'm Talia. 
It's so nice to meet you. Hmm. Let's see. What do you make? I make medical supplies. Oh, and guns. Scopes. <laughs> and other things. You can see them for sale at Penny's store. You're gonna like it here. Everyone in Covenant is so friendly and really wants to help. Oh dear. It sounds like it's, uh... Hope I like it, hate it, like friendliness. Let's be honest, so far. <laughs> I already hate it. Oh, weird. Feel free to use my tools. And if you need anything, just let me know. She is very nice, though. Seems a little bit more legit than the others we've talked to so far. Well, the office needs a new coat of paint sometime soon. Yeah, I'm sure it does. I hate this place. Let's have a chat, Dan. Hey, Dan. This whole place has got me on edge. I hope you found something on the caravan. Let's see. Let's talk about synths. People here are real sensitive about synths. What is a synth? You must be new around here. Synths are synthetic people made by the Institute. Real advanced machines. Might as well be human because no one can tell the difference between them and us. Everyone in the Commonwealth is afraid of synths and the Institute. But come to mention it, I've been here a long while and nobody's even breathed a word about them. That is odd. Hmm. Let's, um, let's talk about the Institute. So, what's the Institute? Ask three different people, you get three different answers to that. Wildly different. Most people believe the Institute's behind every manner of ill in the Commonwealth. Sister disappears, or you lose your Brahmin. The Institute. <laughs> Settlement murdered in the middle of the night. The Institute. But I've never met a single person that has proof about any of that. But there's no denying synths are real enough. So the Institute's infiltrating us, and I doubt they're doing that for our own good. It sounds like they might be being used as scapegoats for a lot of things. Let's see. Let's talk to him about leads. Do you have any other leads? No. If Covenant doesn't pan out, then I don't know where to start. I'll cross that road if I have to. Right. Do you have any proof Covenant is involved with the caravan? I got one thing. They deny up and down that Stockton's men ever came here. But they most certainly did. There's no reason to bald-faced lie to me if they're not hiding something. True. I'll keep poking around. Okay. Keep it up, buddy. We'll talk later. This is all much more exciting than domestic life, I assure you. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, who's the other little robot friend ah, we've got over here? Uh, hello, Mr. Andy. Yes. Hello there, old chap. Good to see another of General <laughs> Atomic's finest still eager to serve. And a good day to you too, sir. This is Can happening. Can I interest you in a refreshing glass of Deezer's lemonade? Don't be daft. You know I can't use the stuff. No discrimination <laughs> here. Everyone benefits from Deezer's lemonade. Get yours today while right. supplies last. A pity. I hate it this place. Deezer's programming <laughs> is too severe to allow for normal conversation. Oh, well. Get your lemonade here! Take it easy. I might get the lemonade. We'll think about it, okay? Um, but first up, we are going to want to try and track down where this caravan is. So, um... Let's have a look. Okay. Human error. Let's have a look. Okay. It's not too far from here. So, um... Let's go have a little bit of an explore. And... For some reason, I don't seem to be able to draw my weapons, which is creeping me out as to why. Yay! I think I'm experiencing a bug. <laughs> and this early on as well. That is a shame. Well, I'm going to try and quick load. Let's see. See if that'll do anything for us. If not, I'm going to have to restart the game. And no, we cannot draw our weapons. Okay, that's truly unfortunate. Why is our Parama's paint gone? Our, our paint is gone off that. What the hell is going on? Flames. It says flames, but it doesn't look like it's flames. Okay, weird things are afoot. We are going to save here, and then I'm going to see you all very soon. Oh dear.
Okay, and I am back, and we have flames, and I can draw my weapon. Perfect. Now, I'm thinking sometimes the cause of this might be whenever I'm doing my little intros, you know, with the free cam, but other times, not. So, yeah, I really don't know what the cause is there. Um, really unusual. Um, now, I should be tracking that quest. I want to make sure that we actually are tracking the correct one. And yes, it seems like we are. So this one that's 80 away, that will be us. So we're going to make our way across here. If we follow this road, we should come to it. So I'm just going to start sneaking. Take things nice and easy as we approach. We are coming up to an MTH. Whatever that one is. I really don't I, I don't understand how stealthy he can be. Like, he really doesn't seem to change. So I don't know if that actually does affect us in combat. Well, I guess we will see. That's the caravan. Now we need to see if they have any involvement in this. And wanting to try and stay aware of what we got going on around us. It's a pretty cool looking building up ahead. Okay. Let's have a look and see the caravan what we got was hit awfully close to Covenant, all right. Yeah, sure was. Let's see what we got. Um, gunner mercenary. Hey. Good pickings. Yes, indeed. Dirty army fatigues. It's an interesting marking. I can't really make much of it, but there's like a green splatter on the ground. Brahmin gear. Fred O'Connell. What does your padded blue jacket do, eh? Let's have a look. Charisma. And endurance. Hmm. Take the dirty water. Deezer's lemonade. Well, that's proof that they've been there. Deezer's Lemonade. Never heard of it. Well, I have. Because we just had the conversation about it, but... Okay. That seems to be all there is to it here. As far as I can tell. Unless we can, uh... Have a look and see if there are any potential points where they might have been hiding out. You know? Like if I was going to ambush, I would be up here on the hills. Let's have a quick squiz. No. But Deezer's Lemonade definitely does prove that they were, they'd were they actually been there, so... That's a start. Yeah, I guess the only other thing is the, uh, the green... This green marking. Which I don't know what it means. That's it. Alright, let's head back. We need to have a chat with Deezer. Well, and we can also tell Dan as well. I just don't... Yeah. We need to understand their motive. Because they will have had a reason for doing it. Yes, well isn't this all very exciting? It is. We'll see how long I can survive with Codsworth. I don't know. We'll see how we do. <laughs> I think after a little while he might get on my nerves, but uh, well, for now he's doing okay. Let's see if we can talk to this bloke about in. it. Penny's shop is usually the first stop. Right. Hey, Swanson. Head on in. Penny's shop is usually the first stop. Okay. Coming in, Codsworth. Yep. Well, they seem to close automatically. Um, alright, let's have a chat with them. While everyone else is asleep for now. I hate this place. Hey, Dan. This whole place has got me on edge. I hope you found something on the caravan. Yeah. 
Let's have a chat. Do you have any proof Covenant is involved with the caravan? No. I still have no proof. Same again. Okay. We'll talk later. Let's have a talk to uh, old Diesel over here. Because he's given us lemonade away. Hey, Deezer. 93% of all visitors prefer Deezer's lemonade. I'm sure they do. Um, I'll pass. Nothing's free. What's the catch? No tricks, no gimmicks, just the best lemonade in Covenant. Free to our special guests. Hmm. I'm looking into a lost caravan. Can you help? You know what would be great for a lost caravan? Lemonade. Jesus lemonade! <laughs> Voted best beverage in Covenant three years straight. I love Deezer. Um What's in the lemonade? Deezer's lemonade is made of goodness. Four special ingredients from sunny, non-irradiated environments, all in one cold glass. Try it and enjoy. Or take advantage of the money back guarantee. But it's free, so there is no money back guarantee. We're gonna pass for now. I'll pass. You don't know what you're missing. Yeah, we'll come back to that. But Jesus Lemonade is a sign, that's for sure. So I wonder if that means that we get a conversation trigger with him. Let's just check real quick. This place. Hey, Dan. This whole place has got me on edge. Alright. I hope you found something on the caravan. No. Nope. We'll talk later. Nothing yet. So we do have to do some further kind of exploration. No eavesdropping? No. Okay. Let's see, we don't wanna Yeah, we don't wanna go uninv uninvited into places, but uh, we do wanna have a chat to some of these people. So we'll see where we can go into. Oop, oop, oop. Let's have a look. Okay. Well, you don't want to listen to that while you're asleep, do you? Oh, whoops, I just stole your lamp. Shit. Penny Fitzgerald. Well, this is the kind of the common room that they were talking about. Where I can sleep. Codsworth is knocking on into things. Let's let's have a look at the public terminal. Let's see what we got. Welcome. From a brief rest to a long stay, we have everything you are looking for in Covenant. Located in the Central Commonwealth, we have easy access to the best and safest trade routes in the area. Our guest dormitories are spacious, well appointed, and our friendly Mr. Handy even offers free lemonade. For extra large caravans, extra sleeping bags can be provided on request. Just talk with Mr. Fitzgerald. We hope you enjoy your stay here as much as we enjoy having you. Hmm. Covenant History We're a young community formed by like-minded individuals dedicated to restoring a quality of life that's been gone for too many years. Our secret ingredients are a shared vision, hard work, and old-fashioned hospitality. Since the walls have come up, we've hosted more and more traders. Our store offers a wide variety of trade goods at rock-bottom prices. If you find it cheaper elsewhere, let us know and we'll beat it. Tell your friends. Safe test. We often get asked about the safe test, which is, what is it? Why is it necessary? For your safety and ours is a number, is your safety and ours is our number one concern here. And the safe test is how we maintain it. The test was designed by some of the old world's greatest minds to get a detailed psychological profile of its participants. People fail the test for all sorts of reasons, antisocial tendencies, vulgarity, and mental health, to name a few. Often, they'd be just fine if we let them in, but we're extra cautious to ensure that only good, quality folk like yourself get to enjoy the comforts of Covenant. Remember, it's all for your safety. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, that's the goat that they used to determine whether or not we're a synth. Hmm. We will have a chat to all of these people here. But, uh, ooh, you're up and awake. One day Covenant is going to be as big as Diamond City. Yeah, you sound 
weird. Master lock here as well. Well, we might just have to sleep on till the morning. Ah, oh, unless... Hey! Miss Cole! <sighs> if He's you're doing... hurting, just tell the doctor. That's a vault tick. Hmm. Let's see. Hear anything. What's new, Doc? If you want rumors, then Penny's the girl for you. Penny. I like okay. to stick to fixing people. It's what I'm good at. I'm sure. Let's see what she's got. Could use some supplies, actually. All right. But go easy on the chems. And she has nothing and I have nothing. Interesting. Well, I'm running into all sorts of interesting bugs today. <laughs> um, let's try that again, maybe? Hey, Doc. You need any doctoring? Just let me know. Yeah, let's see. I need some supplies, Doctor. I suppose I could spare some stim packs. And, uh, yep. Great. Like all your stim packs. Um, okay. Could be because it's late, possibly. Don't tell me you're going to try and take that bed, are you? Well, too bad, because I'm taking it now. Ha <laughs> ha. We are going to sleep until the morning. Let's go for a full eight hours, eh? Be crazy. Be wild. Okay. And this should give us a well-rested perk as well, because it's... Yes, there we go. Well-rested. Excellent. Jacob seems to be a man about town. Let's, uh, let's have a chat. Jacob. Jacob. I hope you're enjoying your stay. Yeah. Um, let's ask about himself, first of all. Tell me about yourself. I make sure Benny, Talia, and everyone's got what they need. It's a full-time job to keep our little community afloat. But oh, sure. someone's got to do it, if you'll excuse me. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm Jacob. not done with you yet, I buddy. I hope you're enjoying your stay. Let's talk. Can I ask some questions? Ask away. Let's see. Problems with synths. Does Covenant have a problem with synths? Shouldn't everyone have a problem with synths? But there's none of those things here, rest assured. Right. What about the caravan, eh? Do you know anything about a missing caravan? Is this about those Stockton people? I've told Mr. Dan many, many times. We never saw them. Interesting. Because I'm pretty sure Dan says you're lying. Dan says your people are lying to him. If you ask me, I think Dan's been baking in the sun too long. The only secret we've got here is what's in Deezer's lemonade. <laughs> and if you can get Deezer to tell you, you just got to fill me in. As the robot says, it's delicious. Of course. I have to go. You have a good day. He's being very helpful. <laughs> well, we will find out. We will get to the bottom of this. Let's start off by trying to have a chat with some of the others. Can we get inside here yet? No, we can't. Okay, so where is the store? Is this the... Ah, right. Enjoy your stay! Your penny. Hi. I hope Swanson didn't give you too hard a time at the gate. If you ask That's me, lemonade. I think he takes his job too seriously. But welcome. Everyone around here calls me Mrs. Fitzgerald. But you, cutie, can call me Penny. Hmm. <laughs> She is super cheerful. Uh, let's ask what she does. What do you do around here? A bit of everything. I try to leave some things for the men folk to do, you know, so they feel in charge. You here to shop? I'll make sure to give you a good price. Let's barter for now. I'll take a look. Best deals around. Hey, and we can actually buy from her, which is good. Um, let's get some ammunition while we're here. Why not? Um, do we want to get some more 10 millimeter rounds? We've got so many. We've got so many. Alloyed metal helmet. What's our metal helmet? Enameled. Right, I see. So it's just a kind of slightly more upgraded version. Interesting. Wouldn't mind some more Dicto, just in case, you know. But it is expensive. Let's see what else we got. Bowler hat. I'm pretty sure we can give that to Horn Codsworth. What? Destroyer's helmet. Holy crap. Yeah, we want that. Charisma and intelligence. 
it's pretty expensive so it's a um it's a legendary um we can afford it we're gonna we're gonna grab it and we can probably just sell our old hat yeah done nice and easy oh, so the greaser gave us luck that's right um okay let's see where else we stand hmm it's relatively cheap and it's very lightweight so we're going to grab it we are going to sell a decent amount of ammunition and other bits and bobs she actually does have quite a bit to sell justice chance to stagger on hit all right not bad not bad metal chest pieces we're almost there people scattered laser rifle lots of shipments decent amount of stim packs okay all right so that will do us um obviously we would like to sell a few things um i am gonna sell the magazines um i would like you know it would be cool to have a have them on a rack but um yeah we are we're gonna get rid of them just because just because they are they are worth a decent amount okay Oh, you know what? We'll hold on to that, though. <laughs> Just because we can. Okay. The lunchboxes, I think we might be able to make mines out of them, so we'll hold on to them for the time being. And we'll hold on to that as well, just for old time's sake. So that's got it down a decent amount. The rest of the... The rest of this we're just wanting to hold on to except for the pre-war money we actually got quite a bit of that back at base as well that um i should really look at selling um and now we're just down to the ammunition really what we want to try and get rid of here um i'm going to get rid of some more of these we don't actually have a hell of a lot of them to get rid of um and then i guess maybe some flamer actually um the only thing the only problem is that it's not actually worth that much hmm I wonder see I've been I've, I've been using up bits and pieces of these cores as I've been going along yeah so I could look at selling one or two of them because I've been chucking in a, a new one each time which I didn't actually realize so probably not the best move there I need to try and keep track of that um we don't need all of those missiles we really don't um so I probably could look at trying to sell some of them um, but yeah, do we want to sell it to make up the difference? Hmm. We'll sell it back the lamp. Let's see. Hmm, damn, damn, damn. I still feel like I would like to hold on to these just for now. Not 100% what we might be using them for. You know what we can do with just that that's fine it's a good amount to be spending still got a decent amount left over rubbish honey uh, you here to shop <laughs> yeah let's um let's talk about the investigation do you have time for a few questions for you <laughs> certainly okay does covenant have some sort of problem with synths thank god we don't none of those machines are in here yeah. People here are really friendly. Why is that? Everyone that passes the test is welcome to visit. But we are particular on who can live here. And having a positive attitude is important to us. Sure. The town looks really nice. How'd you manage that? Oh, thank you for noticing. Well, the men folk would say good old-fashioned elbow grease keeps Covenant as the prettiest place in the Commonwealth. The but between folk. you and me, I think shrewd trading may play a big part. <laughs> Alright, another caravan. Do you know anything about a missing caravan? You've been talking to Mr. Dan. I don't know what he's carrying on about. He's just stirring the pot, if you ask me. Why are they hiding? Like, I... yeah... Accuse her? Gossip about Dan? <laughs> Why would he do that? Some people are just jealous when they see others leading a better life. And they'd like nothing better than to drag everyone down to their level. 
And Dan thinks he's the one helping people. He wouldn't know the first thing about making the Commonwealth a better, safer place. Hmm. Let's try. Right? He should be thankful you let him in. Instead, he stomps around interrogating mm -hmm. people. If the compound did do something to his precious caravan, they had reasons for it. Better reasons than a man like him. Hmm. You know, honey, I... I was just shooting off at the mouth. <laughs> just forget anything I said about that and the compound. I have to go. Secret compound. Fun location of the secret compound. Secret compound. I like that. Ooh, there's a key in there. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to jump in here really quick. Um, to look. How much was that militia hat giving us? So that just gives us one. So we could actually get away with just wearing this all the time. Um, it doesn't look as cool as our militia hat. But, um... <laughs> It certainly doesn't look as cool as our militia hat. Uh, we will be wearing that in combat, but I think we're still gonna we're still gonna have that on. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, much cooler. You need any doctoring? Just let me know. Hmm. See if she is willing to talk about anything else. Any yet. news out there, doctor? If you want rumors, then Penny's the girl for you. Okay. I like to stick to fixing people. Of That's course. what I'm good at. You keep it up. Not today. Let me know if that changes. Secret compound. Secret compound. Was it a baby? No, it was a cat, wasn't it? Yeah. Damn cats. Talia. Oh, you're back. Isn't Covenant just the best? <laughs> Diamond City's better? Oh, wow. That would be pretty mean. Let's just... Do you have time for some questions? If it'll help. Sure. Does Covenant have some sort of problem with sense? Sense? I, I mean, no. The hmm. test makes sure that none of those get in here. They promised. Who is they? They're... I really shouldn't be talking. I've got work. I have to go. Hmm. Okay, we are, we are getting there. Let's Talia, see if we can push a little do bit you further. need to use my tools? Oh, okay. She's taking a break for now. Do you need to use my tools? Yeah, maybe we do. Let's see how we are. You, my friend, let's have a chat. You willing to talk to us here? Meaning no offense, but I got a mountain of work to do. Yeah, I'm sure you do. You right there, Cotsworth? I hate this place. Hey, Dan. This whole place has got me on edge. I hope you found something on the caravan. We have. Let's talk about this compound. I found out about a compound. The caravan survivors may be there. Great. Now we just need to find it. If anyone would know where this compound is, it'd be Jacob. He runs this town. But he doesn't have the best memory. I saw him once reading a slip of paper while entering his password. Maybe you can find that. Piece of paper. Okay. Thank you. We'll talk later. Piece of paper, eh? Tell your friends about Covenant. We can always use extra business. Oh, I'm sure. Okay. So he's been leaving paper around. And it could actually be on him. So we might have to look at pickpocketing. And we don't have any skill in pickpocketing. So that'll be interesting to see how that goes down. I'm guessing this is his home. It's good to see a new face around here. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Just office keys, etc. We're going to try and back out. Okay, we're all right. <coughs> I don't know if we will actually see him with that out. It'd be pretty cool if that's the case, though, like if you just follow him. Codsworth, get out the way, buddy. Where is he going? Hmm. After a long day, nothing Why does one tiny settlement need so much firepower? That's a good point. I like your thinking, Riley. 
It is rather strange, isn't it? What are they protecting themselves from? We'll uncover their dirty secrets. Hmm, let's investigate the sleeping bag. Hmm. Looks like a traitor left a bedroll. No marks on it. So no way of telling if it's from Stockton's people. But there's nothing else? No, no way to lift that. Just doing the rounds? That's a serious lock. Need to find a key. Uh, Let's hope someone's been careless. But, uh, someone's just left it open. So, um, uh, okay. <laughs> mm, forgot right from wrong, did we? Ach, shut up. Temporarily, of course. Yes. Uh, well, that's lucky. It was just open. I don't know if that's a bug or, or what. Well, his house is actually open right now. I don't know whether we'll be killed for walking in there. Or if there is anyone in there right now. Yeah, there's someone in there. I'd hope that, like, they wouldn't just outright kill us for walking in there. We came... Okay, so that's for this door here. Just see if there is anything else here. Covenant Reminder. Ooh, let's see. A reminder, Covenant is a safe place. Whatever bad happened to you in the past won't happen here. But we've got our job to do. We need word of mouth to spread so eventually dozens of people a week come through here. So here are some guidelines. Be welcoming, but don't make visitors uncomfortable. Any opportunities to encourage visitors to bring their friends, exploit. Never talk about synths. Never talk about the Institute. Why are they so afraid of synths? Yeah. I'd like to know that too. Interesting. Okay, that leads us out the back. They are very well protected here. And I really hope that this doesn't get us killed walking in here. Because, I mean, the door's open, you know? I didn't open this. Busted again? It's the third radio this month. Ted better get on this, pronto. Who are you? Another newcomer. Brian. Welcome. Mr. Fitzgerald. We don't tolerate violence or vulgarity. Steer clear of those, and we'll get along just fine. Okay. Well, uh, how about you just get on out of here and I'll close on up for you. Okay. Let's get to the terminal. We probably don't have a lot of time. You're kidding me. That better be Codsworth. Why did it take so long for us to get on the chair? I don't know. Personnel files. B. Fitzgerald. Mr. Fitzgerald treats our missions... Treats our mission as seriously as I do. If only he could do something about his wife. The office of J. Auden. P. Fitzgerald. Concerns. Mention the synths as undesirables. Altercation with M. Bell. Frequent negative comments about other personnel and other places in the Commonwealth, specifically Diamond City. Severe reprimand for warning one trader about the Institute and their ways. Notes. 
If Mrs. Fitzgerald was not extremely effective in her role, I'd request she be reassigned to the compound, but she's married to Mr. Fitzgerald, so her permanent posting here is required. Nothing to be done but frequent reinforcement of our missions and its parameters. Sometimes I feel she cares more about running her store than our goals. What are the goals? T. Huntley. Possession of contraband on three separate occasions. General antisocial behavior has made visitors uncomfortable. Huntley's new to the covenant, and given his past, it's, under, it's understandable that he's jumpy. However, over the time, the community can help him feel safe. If he keeps making visitors feel nervous, though, he may need to be reassigned. On the bright side, his reclusiveness makes him ideal for running messages to the compound. Even when traders are in town, his absence is rarely noticed. T. McGovern. Visitors comment on her nervousness and jumpiness. She's very compassionate. Could there be a problem? After bringing up my concerns to... After bringing up my concerns to her, Miss Govan was... has really come round. Part of our job is to act natural, and if anything she overdoes it. I really hope she truly rec I really hope she's truly recovering instead of just putting on an act. Even if it is an act, she's utterly indispensable to our operation. P. Montgomery. Concerns none. I have no con specific concerns about Dr. Montgomery. Looking at her now, you'd have no idea of what she's been through. The only niggling detail is that she keeps her she keeps to herself and hasn't integrated into the community. But I suspect she resents being transferred here, and would prefer to be working on the core mission. But before she was here, our visitor's number one complaint was a lack of medical services. So we need at least one doctor here, and unfortunately for her, she's the only one qualified that has a suitable temperament. Swanson. Swanson keeps to himself. He works directly for the compound in administrating the test, and I have no idea who he was, or how to help him. He keeps himself strictly apart from the community, whether that's his orders or temperament, who's to say? All right, fisherman report, and I really hope it's just Codsworth behind us. Okay. Mr. Huntley has aborted five compound runs due to a fisherman, name unknown, who has stationed himself at the Mystic Pines Pond Mr. Huntley reports his new favorite fishing hole is directly on top of the compound entrance. The Stockton retrieval team was almost spotted by the outsider. I recommend... and didn't finish typing it. Shit. Ah, oh, you know how to frighten someone, buddy. I know he frowns upon this, but we are doing important work. This cell means business. Yeah, you're right, it is a cell. I guess this is the sheriff department. And don't mind me. Just looking around. Talia, do you need to use my tools? Yeah, still unwilling to talk. Get your lemonade here! Yeah, sure thing. Okay, let's talk to our buddy. I hate this place. Hey, Dan. You find out anything about the caravan? All right. Maybe, no news. Maybe I found out something. You're bargaining with me. Hmm. We work as equal partners, or not at all. More camps, impatient, that's fair. Let's try and push. You won't sweeten the pot? Not interested. If you won't honor our deal, then I have no use for you. Hey, fair enough, fair enough. That's fair. They're at some compound nearby. That's what I like to hear. We're in business. I'll meet you there and we'll rescue ourselves some caravan hands. Okay. Let's see. Let's find out exactly where this place is. Find the Covenant. Compound. 
Okay, so it is on the other side of the lake. Mystic Pines. Yeah, so Mystic Pines was the uh, kind of retirement home place that we stopped at on the way to Lexington. Hmm. I might end up bringing the power armor. Just in case. After a long day, nothing beats Jesus lemonade! Hmm. You're not waiting for me by any chance, are you? Let's see. Hey, a stranger. It's no secret you've been poking around. Not very neighborly of you, if you ask me. I know you think you're doing the right thing. Just don't make any rash decisions you'll regret. Let's see. What rash decisions are you talking about? Maybe your next destination doesn't appreciate trespassers. Hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. If only that were true. Use your best judgment, friend. Ooh, okay, it looks like he was running off then. Well, I think I am using my best judgment. Something's going on here. We are going to get to the this bottom of it. Much more exciting than domestic life, I assure you. Too many miles on the road. At least the pay is ah, terrible. Lucas. Taps to be made protected folk. Let's have a chat to him again. It sounds like there's hey, some Lucas. action going on. Hey, Lucas. spend your caps is protecting your hide with my armor. I know. That advice is free. Okay. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. <laughs> got plenty of stock. Take your pick. Uh, how do I know her so well? Um, I'm not sure if he is going to have much for us. But let's see. Combat armor chest piece. just want to see exactly what I've got. It's all lightweight. Yeah. Nothing crazy. But thank you, my friend. The only way you get old in this job is to assume everyone's out to kill you. I'm sure. Did he just... Oh, he's just waiting there. Guess he's trying to find a way around. Well, you can't just walk straight through it, my friend. And we're not going to walk straight through it either. But that is where today's episode is going to wrap up. We've done some sleuthing. And we've gotten to the bottom. Well, the start of the bottom. We're going to have to see where the rest of it leads. That's going to be next time. Thank you all for joining me. I've been Rykon. This has been Riley and Codsworth. You've all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.